they showed you Ellie's a psychopath doing the fucking Robert De Niro impersonation essentially, uh, which I did enjoy. And I was like, to be honest, if any kid gets a gun, they're probably gonna do that, right? Like, if they get if I got a gun, I'd probably do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, fucking, you talking to me? But um, I really enjoyed the scenery in this one actually, and uh, when they're driving along, it's just and the overgrown roads, and it just really goes to show you how fucking mess this apocalyptic world is that they're in you know yeah yeah i love that let's talk about ellie um on the hbo podcast with the creators craig mazin neil Druckmann, they spoke about ellie's stage right now and they described the stage she's at as a kind of a maybe not the the wanting to murder people like everyone she meets part that's a whole separate thing but they called the stage he's at the fuck you took me in stage um because that's the way the teenagers are where they're like fuck you go fuck yourself but also she really you know she really responds well to being parented and stuff like that and when joe was a bit softer with her you could see her kind of responding well there was aspects of her obviously look she shot a guy she paralyzed the guy in this very episode um but how concerned should what's that Gonna finish in the job, like just fucking oh, no, butler. Like, <laughs> you know, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna take away a man's legs, just take away his legs. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like, it's, it's, that's like, it's, like ripping, it's like ripping the fucking wings off a fly or some shit, and then just letting it get on with its life. But that that's yeah, that's a great point because it's like you know she's standing there and he's like ah he's writhing in pain and like <laughs> was that her hesitating or was that her being like I'm just gonna let this dude like, suffer? Yeah, lose <laughs> his legs, prick. Yeah, you know, what it looks like. do do we need to be concerned about Ellie? Like, is this real? Like, oh, yeah. th- in the same day, I seen her stab that thing in the head and enjoy it. Remember, cut his face yeah. and shit. Like, she's fucked, man. Yeah, yeah. he's the villain. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 and what's interesting about it is they, unlike the game, the original game. They didn't have The Last of Us Part 2 mapped out. And obviously, look, Ellie will continue. This isn't a spoiler, don't worry, like, but Ellie, you know, will continue to evolve as a character and a person, like, you know, as you know, as time goes on. And they're kind of writing it with those things in mind and so on. Um, and they, they have the full perspective of the the wider story they're trying to tell. And look, I'm not even saying that Ellie makes it to the last of us part two, but there's a lot of breadth there to kind of speak about and so on. Um and that's what makes it interesting because that's why they can evolve characters, I think, at a different pace because they just know what the story is and they know what more of the story is and where characters will go or what will drive them towards certain things and so on. Um, it just helps to have a bigger roadmap to play with. How how concerned should we be? Like, Kev, what do you think? I, I, do you think that it's a, like that it will turn into a heel turn? Do you think there's going to be a point where we don't like Ellie or do you think that we're going to have a road back from this. Was there any redemptive kind of features in this? I think her shooting that guy, I think she was more hesitant than just like, oh, fuck, I've just shot somebody. Because I think she did feel, she said she killed somebody before, I think later in the episode talking to Joel. And I think it's pro- it's like, it's a kid taking someone's life really. And I think she did hesitate. She's like, oh my God, what have I done? Because he starts pleading with her as well. I think that maybe was... Uh, it maybe set something off in her maybe a little bit I think as well when he was begging for his life which was horrific by the way as well so I think that, that that's what maybe they're alluding to more but I do like, like I said last week I think the arc potentially might be if it's not that if, if it is going down the road of going a bit psychopath that Joel will be, have to be the one to, to bring her back and that will be the arc that, that she goes on Um. I, th- I think that'd be a- an interesting arc, I think, to maybe do. And it's just it? for a more paternal kind of figure teaching her, I guess. And I think it's getting back his humanity, I think, but a little bit as well. He's like, whoa, don't become like the way I was. 